So me and my friend Pontesh and his sister Susan were taking a trip to the bayou on some remote forgotten dirt road. I think the sign had said Jim Baker Road or something like that. We were making this trip from my hometown of Janu, Alaska. We were going to just stay home, but it's such a short trip that I was able to convince Pontesh to drive us out to the sewage facility he had just inherited from his uncle. When we finally arrived 11 days into the trip, we pulled up to a concrete facility the size of two football fields. It was covered in vines and moss, and also rust. Pontesh and Morgan said we should just go stay at a hotel since it was getting dark. But I was able to convince Pontesh that he was a jive turkey if we didn't sleep in the sewage facility for the night. We grabbed our bags and set up our sleeping bags in the lobby. Cortana said she thought she saw a flashlight glimmering through the lobby's boarded up windows. I was able to convince Pontesh to just ignore her. Then I stopped shining my flashlight through the boarded up window and convinced Pontes to check out the pitch black sewage facility with me. Shanice said she was too scared so we locked her in the lobby as a timeout. Me and Pontes checked out the facility. There were huge vats filled with some kind of smelly liquid. I dunked my head into a vat to see what the liquid could be. I immediately started vomiting after putting my head in the liquid but I was able to convince Pontes to do it too. After we were done puking, we decided to check out the door labeled The Killing Room. Why would this be in a sewage facility, I thought, pushing the door open. The smell of the room hit me like a baseball bat to the knee. When me and Pontes pulled our flashlights up, what was illuminated will haunt me to this day. There was a copy of NASCAR 2008 for the PlayStation 3 lying on the floor. And also several mutilated corpses rotting on the floor as well. I was able to convince Pontes to stop poorly singing Cannibal Corpse when the door slammed behind us. We banged on the door, but it was no use. It was locked. We shined our flashlights frantically around the room looking for a way to escape but it was a solid concrete room. A green gas started to mist in from a shower head in the ceiling. Pontesh quietly mumbled, clean time, to himself as we both passed out. I woke up groggily to see Shaniqua tying Pontesh to some hooks on the wall. I screamed at Janice to let us die, but I knew I didn't mean to say that. I... Kill us! We're here! I screamed again. The gas, having some strange side effect on my brain. B. Arthur turned to me and started walking toward me with a knife, whispering, Sue me. Sue me. She raised the knife and was about to stab me when the metal door burst open and five police officers were in the room, guns drawn. Shalisa put the knife behind her back, but the police officers, instead of arresting her, handcuffed Pontesh and walked him out of the room. Arrest me too, I said. My brain was still drugged, but I'll take it. The officer explained to me and Shanice that Pontesh was one in three states for lawnmower drunk driving. The officers were leaving the room when I screamed, Leave me here with her! The police officer slammed and locked the door behind him. As Barbie raised the knife, I escaped and am posting this story to, hopefully, teach those who read it that Pontesh really was a jive turkey all along. Also, none of this really happened and I was in an insane asylum all along. Emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Ah!